the largest prime number ever found and the 52nd Mersinine prime. Today, the 21st of October 2024, is a special day for cybersecurity and where the largest Mersinine prime has been found, 2 to the power of 1362798411. The largest previous one was 2 to the power of 82589933-1, and which was the 51st Mersinine prime ever found. Since 1997, the GIMP's Great Internet Mersinine Prime Search distributed system has been used to prime prime numbers, and it took six years to find the current one and was the first to use GPUs. In 2021, it stopped using the Lucas Lemur method and moved on to Fermat's Probable Prime PRP test. This uses Fermat's Little Theorem and which is a to the power of p minus 1 mod p equals 1, and where p is a prime number. Mersinine prime numbers were first defined by Marin Mersinine, and who was a 17th century French friar. His contribution included his investigation of prime numbers, along with being seen as the father of acoustics. A Mersinine prime is thus defined as a prime number that is one less than a power of two. In its general form, m of n is equal to two to the power of n minus one, and where n is an integer. The discovery of two to the power of one one two one three minus one was even given its own postmark. So the sequence of Mersinine. Uh, prime numbers that we have start with a prime number of 2. 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 equals 3. Then 3. 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 is 7. And then we move to 5. 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 is 31. Next, 7. 2 to the power of 7 minus 1 is 127. 13. 2 to the power of 13 Minus 1 gives us 819. Some significant ones are 2 to the power of 19 minus 1. The 4Q curve. The core of the security you're probably using for this uh, web podcast is likely to be provided by elliptic curve cryptography or ECC and where a session key is created through ECDH, or Elliptic Curve Diffie-Hellman. While there are a number of curves that we can use, such as NIST P256, Curve 25519, and SEPT256K1, as used in Bitcoin, there are some doubts about their security and their performance. And so Microsoft Research has produced the 4Q curve and which has 128 bit security. It is open source and runs effectively on a number of platforms. At its core is the usage of the Mersinine prime of 2 to the power of 127 minus 1. In tests, the Microsoft team showed that 4Q was four or five times faster than the equivalent NIST P256 curve and was about two or three times faster than Curve 25519. I've included some code related to the 4Q uh, Curve in the related blog post and using the Circle software library. With this, Alice produces her private key, little a, and Bob produces his private key, little b. We then select a point on the curve g and Alice passes A times G to Bob, and Bob passes B times G to Alice. With this, we have A as a scalar value, 256 bits, and B also as a scalar value. G is a point on the curve, an XY point, and then when we say A multiplied by G, it means that we are adding the point G A times. And we represent that as A times G. 
In the end, the shared key is then A, B, G. The Mersinian Twister. Another application of Mersinian Primes is in the implementation of a random number generator and is known as the Mersinian Prime. A typical exponent value used is 19,937 or 2 to the power of 2199371 minus 1. Overall, pseudorandom number generators are deterministic and periodic, but the core of the strength of the twister method is the pseudosequence that is unlikely to repeat within 2 to the power of 19937 minus 1 random numbers. Overall, the method uses sequential states and where it should not be reasonably possible to know the next state from the current state. But some researchers have shown that the sparse states can exist and where there are very few ones or very few zeros, then the next state will also be sparse. The method has been criticised for having also having many bits 19,937 to be precise, for the states, and for the security, a state value of 256 would still be enough to give a strong effect on the overall performance. A pseudo-sequence repeating in 2 to the power of 256 can still be seen as secure. The Lucas-Lemur test. The Lucas-Lemur test, or LLT, is used to test for the primality of Mersinian prime numbers. It was initially created by Eduardo Lucas and then enhanced by Derek Henry Lemar. For the test, we initially define u underscore uh, 0 equals to 0, and then we calculate u underscore k plus 1 is equal to u k squared minus 2 mod m. If u underscore s minus 2 equals 0, then we have a prime number. I've included some tests for prime numbers in the related blog post. Conclusions The great internet mercenine prime search distributed system continues to try and find the next mercenine prime number and also the next prime number. If you want to discover more about the wonderful world of prime numbers, then try at asecuritysite.com slash primes. Thanks.